Mango celebrations in Bunyoro always happen on the 11th of June. The Bunyoro celebrated the 26th coronation anniversary of Omukama Iguru Gafawusa Solomon. Well, being in these COVID times, of course, it was a scientific coronation which took away all the fun that comes along with this coronation. Generally, the Mpango celebration gathers Banyoro people and friends from around the world to celebrate culture and the Banyoro unique traditions. So, let me just take you through the details of how the Mpango normally is. Forget the scientific Mpango, forget the COVID times. Let me just take you through the history of Bunyoro Kingdom. So, the reigning king of Bunyoro, Omukama Iguru Gafabsa Solomon, was enthroned on June 11, 1994. The Mpango is the first ritual the Omukama performs during his enthronement. According to the Carbonera of the Omukama, Ashraf Mujeni, the Mpango ceremony is preceded by the presentation of the regalia to the Omukama. The ritual is performed by the men in charge of the regalia on the night on June 9th. The ceremony of presenting the regalia to the king is known as Okweza, and the regalia are called Amahango. It's also known as the regalia cleansing ceremony. This is done to prove to the Omukama that we are ready for the Mpango. The Amahango include resharpened spears and drums called in timbo and other items. On June 10th, the palace officials head to Omukama Kabalega's royal burial ground at Mparo, a few kilometers from Hoima town on Hoima Masindi Road to perform another cleansing ceremony. On the same day, the 10th of June, prayers are held to thank God for the gift of the king and for enabling him to turn another year on the throne, which is called Okujumura Engoma. Then, on the night of June 10th, the officials in charge of the regalia hand over the ebikwato to the omukama, including the tibamudinde drum. It is at this point that the Mpango ceremony begins, although few people attend. The ceremony is known as kuhemba. This is when the Mpango begins. The regalia is all handed to the king at 12 a.m. That's midnight. After receiving the regalia, the king goes to the kraal to receive a bull from Omupanyara. That's the man from the Babito clan who blesses the king as he is enthroned. As a token of appreciation for presiding over the kingdom. This takes place between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. The bull is slaughtered and the Omukama serves his people around the palace and after, everyone sleeps. In the morning of June 11th, the Omukama goes to the bathroom. Ebiambuka for a shower before he is served breakfast. Thereafter, donned in the regalia, the Omukama and Omugo, Omugo is his wife, his queen, the queen mother, take their seats in front of the palace residence to preside over the Mpango ceremony. Speeches and other ceremonies have to be out of the way by 3 p.m. when the members of the Abasita clan who keep the timba mulinde drum, bring it to the king. The Abasita kept the drum when the Abachwezi dynasty, which ruled the then Bunyoro Kitara Empire, covering most parts of Uganda, northern Tanzania, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi, started breaking up in the 16th century. They handed over the drum to the Bito dynasty rulers, who inherited a disintegrated empire. The same clan members were said to have hidden the drum from government officials when the kingdoms were abolished in 1967. Some of the kingdom's drums and regalia were confiscated in the chaos that followed in the 1966 crisis. A few minutes to 3 p.m., the king and the omogo change into the traditional back cloth and sit in the enthronement room as they wait for the timba mulinde drum to be presented to them. The members of the Abasita clan first take the Tiba Mulinde drum to a hill in front of the palace 
where they perform some rituals seeking clearance from the spirits to proceed with the Mpango ceremony. After receiving their permission, they move to the entrance of the palace main house, dancing to the sound of amakondere and other musical instruments to inform the kings Kabonera and Omopanyara if ceremony has been cleared to go ahead or not. If it's cleared, the Kabonera and Omopanyara inform the Omokama and Omugo that the Mpango ceremony has been allowed and the drum is ready for striking for the function to begin. The Awasita are then allowed to enter the main house, the palace residence, to hand the drum to the Omokama to perform the much-awaited ceremony. The Empango ceremony lasts two days in the palace, which the Omokama subjects are served a feast known as Okuinura. The Empango dance then moves to the Omokonda, who is said to have initiated the Empango celebrations in Bunyoro under Omokama Rokidi I, who ruled in the 19th century. Omokama Rokidi I enjoyed the Empango dance so much and he asked Omokonde to ask for anything he wanted in return. The Omokonde asked the king to allow the Empango to take place at his place after the main ceremony in the palace. For the Omokonde, the Empango dance takes place at home of the queen mother, Omogo, of the king in Buchunga in Imparo division in Hoima municipality where more rituals are performed to crown the year's festivities. The celebrations traditionally lasted nine days in the king's palace in the past as people danced and feasted. It also used to be an occasion for celebrating the year's harvest and giving part of it to the Omokama. Thank you very much for watching. I remain your girls Basimura, being a Munyoro who did grow up in Hoima or in Bunyoro Kingdom. It's sad to keep track of what's happening, what goes on, actually to know anything about your culture. Bunyoro is all about some few things about it, the history, the past, the present, the culture, everything that makes it Bunyoro Kingdom. Thank you very much for watching once again. I remain your girl Rose Pasimura. Don't forget to like, comment, share. I'm a Bunyoro. Da. Bye.